back to another episode of KD Vlogs. On this episode, we have what you see right here, a snack crate. For those of you that don't know what a snack crate is, a snack crate is a crate with snacks aside from different type of countries all around the world, continents, as such. Today we have a special guest. He goes by Chris Swag L the God. Yes. yes, that's what you go by. Uh, yes, yes, definitely. Um, no swag in here, but we're gonna definitely try some of this snacks. You know what I'm saying? You know what a snack crate is? Absolutely not. Can you tell me about All it? All right, so I'd rather show you than tell you about it. So Sound crazy. Without further ado, we're gonna see what we got. I haven't looked at it at all. So here we go. Check this out. So this snack crate is brought to you from. Australia. Australia. Oh, we're about to have some Australia snacks. Oh, man. Oh, snap. Mm. Mm. Better finish it. Yeah, we got stickers from Australia. All right. We got the koala. I think that's a banana. Nah, it's not that, a banana. That's boomerang. It's a boomerang. It's a boomerang. Boomerang. Man, let's oh, see. snap. Koala. The guy playing the flute. What was that? I don't know what that is. Uh, that's one of them. I don't know what this is. <laughs> Go to hey yo! <laughs> <laughs> My yeah, God. no, 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 you good? I understand. <laughs> That's the sound, bro. All right. Oh, yeah, man. I understand. I guess. It's not, it's not All true, right. Though. So, let's see. Let's see. All right. As you know, each snack crate comes with a book, and it comes with fun facts, which we will read in the end. All right. <clears throat> All right. So let's let's get to the snacks. All right. Let's talk about it. All right. So this first snack I see. A Sam boy, the flavor hits you. <laughs> Atomic tomato, crinkly cut potato chips, mega tomato hit. As you guys see, I don't know what what this joint is gonna be hitting for, but don't know what that is, man. Like. All right, so we're gonna open this bad boy up. Right. I'm gonna try one. Try if you want. You ain't okay. you're not allergic to tomatoes. I hope not. Yeah. All right, so I let's see what it. this bad boy says. All right. First of all, let me see if I can find it. I have a lot of vinegar in there. I can smell the vinegar. Oh, yeah, that joint is strong. What's vinegar. the name of it on here? It's Sam a, Boy? Atomic Tomato by Sam Boy. Oh. The flavor hits you. All right. Oh, uh, the flavor. The flavor hits you. Oh, man. I don't think they're going to like that. <laughs> they probably not, right? So, <laughs> this, this chip right here. Australia's favorite potato chip from the 1950s mm -hmm. with a tomato flavor that hits hard. The perfect zingy kringle cut crisp. Okay. So let me see. Yeah, definitely a lot of vinegar in it. Yeah, a little piece of tomato. Mm. Probably like a little ketchup. I guess the tomato was ketchup. But um I'm not a fan. Not at all. Not a fan. Not a fan at all. Alright, so let's see what we got next. Twisty's cheese. Twisty's cheese. These nuts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh shit. Oh, man. I'm, oh, shoot, man. God damn. <laughs> An Ussie snack icon for over 50 years. Mm -hmm. A corn based curl dusted in tasty cheese. All right. So, Twisties looks like. um, What's that going? Oh, this looks like cheese noodles. That, there you go. It's cheese doodle? Yeah, it like a cheese doodle. Cheese doodle, but it looked like, um, it looked like, what you call it? Dips, no, what's that corn chip thing? Hmm. You know what? That's actually a good combination. It is? I, I, I do. I like it. Um, but it has a funny aftertaste. I just, I, it just hit me. I have a funny aftertaste, bro. Oh, I like it. It tastes nasty? No, it don't taste nasty. It just, the, the taste, it, it has some different type of aftertaste on. Mm. I don't know, bro. All right, next we have in the bag. Oh man, I heard about this. What what, what is that? Overbaked, not fried shapes, oh, Vegemite okay. and cheese. Overbaked. So I, I've I've heard about Vegemite, but let's just see. <sighs> well, overbaked sounds like burnt, but <laughs> <laughs> shape shapes biscuits coated in bold flavors of Vegemite and cheese. Or savory pizza, hmm. overbaked and flavored to perfection. Mm, let's see what this, we got. They said pizza. Yeah, it said pizza. Well, it depends. If it's Australian pizza, I don't know. I never had that before. 
This looks similar. All right. Oh man, it's such a smell. It smells like, you know, it, like, it kind of gives it the 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 the, the you know, like little Batman like symbol here too. Mm -hmm. it smells. It got like a little sweetness to it, like a graham cracker. Okay. What can you do? Tastes like combos. Without the filling inside. Mm-hmm. Okay. Tastes like combo. I can, I can see that. It's Vegemite. I like it. It, it's, it tastes like Cheez-Its. Yeah. Right. A little bit of cheese taste. It, that's definitely what I get from it. All right. So, the next one we have up on here is called Violet Crumble. Hey. This is a big chocolate bar. A crumble honeycomb toffee center coated and two layers of creamy chocolate. So we're gonna do this one. Break it in half. Two layers of creamy chocolate, huh? Eh? Yeah, you know. Are you gonna eat the whole thing? Uh, no, I'm just gonna take a little bite. Oh, you know? just scared the hell out of me, huh? Oh, hey, yo, I <laughs> that's, that's some crazy <laughs> talent. <laughs> you said what? Uh, nothing. Hey. Uh, it's, it's, let, let me you know. Let me just break it in half yeah, again. Yeah, break that piece. You know what I'm saying? Because due to, uh, should I say it? There you go. Thank you, sir. All right. All right so check this out. We be protective of ourselves. What the hell? What the heck is this, man? <laughs> What's that in the middle? Like, <laughs> like when you sniff it, it's like, yeah, and it's light. It's very light, like it's been nothing in it. See, I could see why Americans get fat, right? We get we get really fat because we have a lot of stuff in our chocolates. And well, stuff. the to toffee is like light, I guess. Toffee, yeah, yeah, it is. But uh -huh. oh, oh god, mm. you know what? I'm not happy with that. That's not bad. It's not mm. bad. Mm mm. Nah, it's not bad. It's, the riches of the chocolate, it, it you know it's. I don't want. I don't know how to explain it, but it overpowers the t uh, the taffy. Cause the taffy usually is is it, that's what you say it's a taffy, right? The, uh, toffee, yeah. Toffee taffy. It's supposed to be soft and chewy, but it's tough. All right, I'm not liking it. Got right, mukbang. Mm. All right, next we have a little sweetness. So we have something called Zappos. Zappos is known for its explosive flavor. Zappos fruit chewies will leave you with a sour punch of watermelon that makes your mouth water. Mm -hmm. Seven pieces. Can't wait to pop one of these bad boys in. Oh my God. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how, how I can open this joint. Oh man, Jesus! I tried to use the little. You wanna end pop it in? in? Can I help you there? Thank yeah, you. you can. Get... Yeah, cause I don't know what the heck you're trying to do, bro. There, there we go. There oh, <laughs> okay. Sorry. Oh, there you go, sir. Oh, okay. Yeah, I tried. Okay. So. Oh, all right. A little rabble, rabble. Kind of reminds me of a now and later. Yeah, it does. Oh, it's like seven pieces in here. Now and later. You say now and later or now and later? I say now and later. There you go. You Oops. just open it up. Open the pink. I didn't mean to, but. Watermelon flavor. Watermelon flavor. Wish me luck. All right, let's see. Hey, that one. Mm. It is like a now and later. Mm-hmm. What's up? Mm. I'm feeling it. Yeah, that's that's sour. That's good. That's really yeah. good. This is my favorite so far. Mmm. <laughs> oh, we got two more items left. <sighs> Next item we have on here is called the Tim Tam Original. Feels a little chocolatey. Hmm. Okay. Have some weight to it. Two chocolate cookie biscuits filled with smooth chocolate cream. Then drenched in even more chocolate. Hmm. Sounds like Twix. 
Now I would just swallow whatever's in my mouth, but oh, oh my I just put it to one side. Hey. Come on, man. <laughs> You're making this show. Oh, it's mad milk on this joint. It's a lot of milk. It's 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 chocolatey, man. Mm. It's gonna be mad chocolate in my hand. This looks like it's gonna be good. Mm. Oh mm. yeah, it's peeling. <sighs> Throw one back, a little bite. Mmm. This reminds me of Keebler's. Tim Tim's is really good. I'm not even gonna lie. This reminds me of Keebler's. The cookies. Yep. With the individually wrapped. The little circle on it. Keep this one on the side because I like it. Mm. You know what? You hear that? I'm too into it. Like, yeah, you having a mouth orgasm? Like, uh -huh. mouth gasm? That's the only way to do it, baby. Last but not least, okay. we have three pieces of gum, which are called fantails. These look like bazookas. <laughs> 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 and these don't, it don't have, it looks exactly what it, exactly like right, bazookas. Smooth and velvety caramel coated with milk chocolate individually wrapped to take you anywhere. This is gum? This says gum? Hold on. No. Oh, you scared it's the milk chocolate. You scared the heck out of me. Oh, I thought it was on there, so. Mmm. Bone apple teeth. A little small thing. Scroll back. Oh, God. It's a little tough. It's what? A little tough. It's tough? Mm hmm. Mmm. I'll be the judge of that. Oh, I mm, broke my tooth. Mmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, so mad. Yes, it's you got that Tootsie Roll feeling. Mm hmm. Rick Hayden class. Mm mm. Wait a minute. That's the way I can taste it. You finished that, that quick? I did. Mm. I stuck my mouth together. <laughs> like it's like. <laughs> so like. Mm. Mm. I'm liking this. It's, it's not bad. It's just like. In the middle, it's not the end. But in the middle, mm -hmm. it has this taste like, like how wood, like you know the the wood wax smell, like you know when you about to wax the floor, and it has the the wood um the polish. Okay. It's it tastes like how it smells, like if that makes sense, you know what I'm saying? Like you smell wood polish, that's how it tastes, how it smells. Mm -hmm. Makes sense? Yeah. Maybe. It's still sticking to my teeth. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I just, I, I put it in the back of my teeth. Right in the tongue, you know. <sighs> well, mm. I feel like just swallowing it. Oh my God. You're making it so hard. So, which ones did you like? All right, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna be honest. Um, Twisties. Twisty cheese. Twisty cheese was actually um, something I really do like. Um, it had that corn chip flavor, but that cheese added to it. It was definitely a combination that I was surprised that it was actually really good, you know. And um, it, do, do I pick a top three or should I just like? Oh, you can just say which ones you like, which ones you didn't like. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm be honest. All right, so Twisty's was good. Um, I actually like. Um, the oh what is it? was it the shape the shape was pretty good mm -hmm. and what was the name of this zappos zappos okay zappos was good it reminded me of now and later yeah that's, um, that's a good one one that i didn't, didn't like. like you didn't like the sammy boy sammy boys it had yeah. the tomato in it pretty much that was yeah and it, it had a strong vinegar taste crinkly yeah. goodness mm -hmm. for some not us Crinkly, it was crink. No, no, let me not judge people's food. Crinkly goodness. Oh, man. All right. That was pretty cool. Any, um, anyone, anything else you liked or didn't like? Um, I, I the least I liked the least was actually the violet crumble. Oh yeah, this one, yeah. this this right here. Like you, you see how like 
I'm like, what is that? I mean, people I'm, like it. Cause it. It actually does crumble in your mouth, but well, it's gluten free. Uh, I guess that's the good thing about very it. Very good, very good. Even though you know, I'm, I don't, I don't care. Um, what I liked was the the Zappos, mm -hmm. and I liked the the Tim Tam. Tim Tam was good. Oh, I agree. I, I agree. liked the Tim Tam. That's good. And then we had the shapes. The shapes are all right. They're okay. I, I, I think they're, I think that would be the most addictive thing in the box, to be honest. The shapes? Yeah, because you eat one of them, I think you would... Well, for me, at least. Oh, yeah. It kind of gave me that, you know, um, Jesus feel. Oh, so yeah. once you eat one, uh, you're going to want to eat another one. And yeah. the bag's too small, in my opinion. But it was good. I okay. like it. All right, so now we're at the part of the episode where we start reading off some fun facts okay. from Australia. So, those of you who don't know where Australia is or what it is, Australia, the capital of Australia is Canberra. C-A-M-B-E-R-R-A, -R -R right there. You might tell us we said it wrong, I don't know. Uh, don't, don't kill me, um, don't kill me. They probably will. I'll tell you guys a fun fact though. The Australian apps receive more snow than Switzerland each year. Mm -hmm. The Great Dividing Range runs from north to south, from Queensland to Victoria. Would you like to read one of these bad boys? Sure, I'll definitely read one. Um, fun facts, okay? Okay, Australian wombats are one of the only animals in the world whose poop is in the shape of a cube. Uh, yeah. What? A wombat? What? Yeah. No, you know, a wombat. cube? Yeah, like a cube one. That could be chocolate to somebody. Hey, like you might put in some coffee, you know? You <laughs> want <laughs> 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 chocolate, bro? Here you go. Boop. Oh, I got a fun fact about uh -huh. you golfers out there. Uh -huh. Australia has the world's longest golf course. The 18-hole par 72 golf course spans 850 miles across two states. Wow. That, you, heard it, you heard it here. That's pretty far. That's, yeah. a, that's a lot. Uh, you see, if I was golfing, <laughs> they'll curse me out, man. I mean, I have a good swing on me. I'm not going to lie. I, yeah, could, I don't know nothing about golf. I could definitely swing a, I could swing a golf ball. My joint going straight to the water. Oh, splish splash. You don't even know, man. Uh, yeah, so what else do we got? What well, else fun facts? Well, we can tell them the population. Oh, definitely. 25 million, 10,000 people live in Australia. 25 million. Wow, that's, yeah. uh, that's a lot of people. And if you like this snack crate from Australia that we just consumed and gave our views on, mm -hmm. they also had different type of snacks that you can put more into they have drinks more juices and all that goodness um okay. australia it is one day i might go you know just chill with the the llamas and alpacas that's in australia right llamas alpacas I think I, so. I want to say that, but I know kangaroos in Australia. Right, yeah, we got the koala. Yeah, koalas, so. not, you know, I'll box a kangaroo, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's, that's him, not me. <laughs> no animal cruelty. As long as he got boxing gloves, he's ready to box. So if you like what you're seeing here, please comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Our social media handles are down here. Mm -hmm. boop, boop, boop. So